All right, I'm producing an entire video on this subject, but uh, I wanted to do a little uh, prequel to that video here. Uh, this guy, Busy for the Lord, who puts out like, I don't know, 10 videos a day. He's kind of like the new Tim <laughs> Tim Henderson, uh, but not as, not as hyper. Um, he put this out, and like, it's so full of inaccuracies. It's just... It's just staggering to me. You know, as Christians, we're supposed to stand for truth. We're supposed to do our homework. We're supposed to understand how things really are. We say we have the truth in us, and we say we have the light of, you know, Jesus called us the light of the world. We shouldn't be fabricating things and running narratives to death. So bottom line is, a couple of weeks ago now, Israel signed a deal with Europe to begin to supply natural gas to them so that Europe can start moving away from Russia as, as such a primary, uh, you know, supplier. So Russia supplies about 40% of Europe's natural gas needs. That's a big, that's a big chunk coming from one place, especially a place like Russia. So it's smart that Europeans need to move away from this. They need to get off of, the, of one single supplier. And so now they're opening it up to other suppliers, including Israel. Let's just throw some numbers out there, all right? And I put this on Busy for the Lord's channel, and he got all mad at me, as they always do. I said, <laughs> I said, they, Israel doesn't have enough gas, natural gas, to, to supply all of Europe. They don't have enough to replace Russia, not even close. Um, and the facts are really easy to find online. They're from multiple places. The EU is buying about 115 billion cubic meters of gas from Russia per year. 115 billion. Israel produces about 9 to 11 billion per year. Okay, that's less than 10% in total of what Russia supplies. That's what they're producing today. And they consume most of that themselves. They might have a billion cubic meters left over or something to sell. That's okay, good for them. But 1 billion cubic meters is not going to replace 115 billion cubic meters. This is not what's going to happen. So let's just listen in and I'll point this out. Nations of Europe in particular are in a critical juncture regarding having natural gas to fuel its needs. Russia is providing the natural gas needed to supply the needs in the UK and other nations. Natural gas. But now the little Jewish state Israel doesn't look so diminutive in terms of nation states, he stressed. They have found and harnessed massive gas reserves and petroleum reserves. No, they haven't. Last month, Israel made the historic move of signing a deal with the European Union to supply oil to Europe for no. decades to come. No, it, it wasn't a deal for oil. It was a deal for natural gas. That's what you were just talking about. No, no, Israel. See, this is the narrative. Israel has massive, massive quantities of. No, they don't. They have. More than they used to have. They found some uh, reserves. Absolutely. It's enough for them. And, and a little extra that they can sell. It's not massive. They're number 45 in the world for natural gas reserves. Okay? They're behind countries in India in the India region. Okay? They have, a, they have a tiny fraction of what Russia has. This historic deal is important for several reasons. No, it's Firstly, not. Israel has officially become an energy superpower. Secondly, <laughs> the European Union has always hated Israel. Okay. But now anyway, they blah, 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 blah. So, so no, false. They are not even close to being an energy superpower. Stop worshiping Israel and just making up crap. They're not an energy superpower even remotely. They're 99th in the world for oil. 99th. They have less oil than some tiny countries you've never even heard of. So, I'm, I, like I said, I'm doing a whole video on this. Uh, sorry, 95th in the world for oil production. They actually import oil today from India, the USA, and Russia. Israel imports oil today from Russia to meet its needs. That's not an energy superpower. No matter how many times you guys worship this country and these people instead of God, because you're in love with your rapture concept, and you worship your rapture idol... That doesn't make it true. The facts back them back that up.